Hello everyone, welcome back to another Mass Planner video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create boards for Pinterest using Mass Planner. There are actually two ways to use this tool. The first one is to create one Pinterest board at a time. So all you have to do is enter the necessary information like board name, board description, choose a board category, and then click add board to input. Let's say for example we want to call it after the board name we put in the board description and you choose a board category and you proceed to add board to input. From here you can edit the name of the board or the description or the category before proceeding to create boards from input. Now the second way of creating boards for your Pinterest is recommended for those who want to create a lot of boards at the same time. Let's say for example you want to create three boards. What you can do is you use pin syntax for the board name and board description. For board name, I use spin syntax as well as for the board description. Next you choose how many boards you want to create. So you see here the add number of copies by executing the spin syntax. So you can change it to three if you want to create three boards or to whatever number depending on how many boards you want to create. In this example, we're just creating three boards. We put here three and you click on add board to input. What's going to happen is it's going to create three boards from the board name that we've indicated. Here, since we used a spin syntax, it will randomly choose from all the board names that we have entered in the board name category as well as for the description. You have an option to edit the information from here and if you're okay with it, you can proceed to create boards from input. It will show on the results table below. If it's still a work in progress, you will see the status as processing. When it's done, you will see success. So that is how you use Create Boards tool for Pinterest. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye!